Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Gemini, and this is going to be an overview for the month of August. I will be using my Guardian Angel Messages Tarot deck. And to clarify, I'll be using my Angel Wisdoms Tarot. And we're going to see what messages we got for you, Gemini. And to everyone stopping by, darlings, I welcome you with open arms and an open heart. Please know I deliver these messages to you from my heart, always to your heart. Take what resonates and leave what does not. Okay, babies? So, Gemini, let's get some good news up in here for you, huh? Come on, show me Gemini. So Gemini, this is for you. The five of fire, that's like conflict, could be inner conflict that happened in the past. Transformation, moments of chaos and confusion, past energy, maybe some realizations you came to. Whatever they were, they could have been life-changing. The five of water, very emotional from whatever the situation is going on. You have the page of fire. The page of fire is about a creative new opportunity that you're going to be offered. I say whatever went on, you will overcome. You got the night of fire. You feel like it's taking forever for you to overcome this. But don't you worry, darling. It's coming. Just pay attention to the details, okay? The fire of air, yes. Could have been some conflict and all of that stuff. I mean, that was the tower moment there. We have the three of water. That's about celebration there. We have the Ace of Fire. This is about a creative new opportunity for you. And you have the Strength card. And the Strength card is you finding your strength and your willpower, babies. Your personal strength. <laughs> All right, so we can clarify now, okay, Gemini? Okay, Gemini. On top of the Five of Fire, we got the Queen of Cups, which could be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. Maybe there's some kind of conflict or maybe some kind of new creative opportunity with this energy. This energy, I don't know. It, it, I have the Seven of Cups here. And the Seven of Cups could be about you having to make a choice, okay? You might have had to make a choice that caused some conflict in the past. Now, it could be with a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio, okay? So you got the Queen of Cups, you got the Ace of Wands, and you have the Seven of Cups, which is about choices. But maybe you took a little too long to make your choice, and there was a moment of chaos and confusion here. Might have had something to do with a uh, fire energy here. Um, you got news of a, a new, um, you got enthusiastic about some news that you received and maybe it caused you to feel real shaky, you know, like, oh my gosh, this is really happening. It's really happening, you know, because not always the, the tower moment is something dreadful, okay? Sometimes it's for positive change, all right? It to, I always feel it's for positive change, period. I know we feel like that, but sometimes when we break down, it builds back stronger. And sometimes when we get excited, you know, but we're scared at the same time because we don't know what's going to happen. You know, we get that feeling inside. 
Maybe you were feeling that because we got the king of, um, we got the page of wands, which is about exciting news. We got the king of fire or the king of wands, which is or could be a Leo, an Aries or a Sagittarius in your environment. And it seems like things were progressing and you were planning for the long term with this energy. Abundance from past choices. Be patient as you decide to do what's next, okay? You have the Page of Wands, you have the King of Wands, and you have the Three of Wands above that moment of chaos. And then you have the Five of Water, and the Five of Water is about disappointment, regret, forgiveness. Now, I don't know if... If... Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, oh. All right. I don't know if, um, well, I think you overcame whatever it was that was going on. It was just a moment, okay? We have the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles could be balance, okay? Or it could be that you're feeling a little off balance with everything that went on. And no matter what, you're still feeling stable. I got the Emperor. Now, the Emperor could be an Aries. There is a fire energy here. And then we got the Chariot. And the Chariot is something coming in fast. Your determination. you successfully balancing a lot of things, Gemini. Now, I don't know. This water energy here might be a cancer because the chariot is a cancer energy and the emperor is the Aries energy. So I don't know. Maybe these energies got you feeling a little off balance. But then again, to me, this is about stability and willpower. So maybe you overcome, you overcame Whatever it was, not maybe, you did overcome this feeling. You got the two pentacles, you got the emperor, and you got the chariot. And then you have the page of fire. Creative, enthusiastic, motivated. You have the... You have... The Page of Swords, which is about communication, maybe some new communication or brilliant new ideas, or maybe communication that has you feeling kind of stuck. And maybe you need to use your intuition or open up your heart in regards to that, in, that information. And maybe that feeling of being stuck will pass. You have the Ace of Swords, you have the Awakening card, and you have the Page of Cups, which is about your intuition and opening up your heart. Oh, ain't nothing bad. Then we got the Knight of Earth here. The Knight of Earth is about things seem like taking forever. You paying attention to the details. I mean, I say things started working out. There might have been some pretty harsh communication, but I say things are working out. The communication probably brought some conflict. Um, that's life. Up and down. Okay? Just don't let those down moments swallow you up. You got the Ten of Cups. We create our happiness. We create our happiness. We got the Ten of Cups, which is about happy family. It could be marriage. We got the Eight of Wands. It could be coming towards you fast. Or maybe there's a lot going on right now in your life. And we have the Page of Wands. The Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords is about communication. Now, this communication might have been, you know, kind of challenging to hear. But you needed to hear it. And for those of, who, of you who might be signing some documents, pay attention, okay? Pay attention. Read all the fine print. You got the Ten of Cups. You got the Eight of Wands. And you got the Page of Swords. And then you got the Five of Air. And the Five of Air is conflict. Okay, you're going to find the strength to overcome whatever is going on. You really will. We got the strength card. That's about your personal power, your inner strength. You know what I mean? Um, we got the knight of, we got the knight of pentacles here. Just pay attention to the details and you got a guardian angel who looks over you. So don't you worry, babies. And you got the five of, you got the eight of pentacles. The eight of pentacles to me, it's about paying attention to the details. Just pay attention. I don't know if you need to focus on your finances right now, but pay attention. All right? Let's 
especially if you give too freely. Pay attention. The Strength card, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles might cause some conflict. Or maybe it did cause some conflict. Then you have the Three of Cups, and which is about celebration. But right above this celebration, there was a moment of chaos and confusion for you. It was a significant life event. You broke free of whatever it was. You broke free. Don't beat yourself up. Things happen in life, okay? Nobody has the right to take away your peace of mind. Especially since you've come such a long way. We have the transformation card. We have the queen of swords, which is you, Gemini. And we have the nine of wands, which is you being very resilient. No matter what, you always get back up. Remember, you have the ability to look within yourself. So do some self-evaluation and review your life. You know? Then we have the ace of fire. And the ace of fire is a new creative opportunity for you. And there you are, the king. Are you, you thinking about communicating to someone that got you a little tied up in your head right now? you thinking about communicating to someone and you need to figure out how to communicate clearly. Because sometimes you're a little too passionate. We're going to use that word, passionate. And you may say things sideways. But that doesn't mean you're coming from a place of a bad place, you know. And I am speaking from experience too. I say a lot of things sometimes and they come across very harsh. That's not my intention. My intention is to shake the person up, to let, wake them up. Because I will always speak the truth. I will always speak the truth. And then we have the sun card. The sun card is about happiness. Whatever it is going on in your head, you can overcome. Okay, babies? You have the king of swords, which is you. You need to communicate clearly. You got the eight of swords, which is a situation you might have got yourself tied up in because of communication. And you got the sun card. I say you're going to overcome things. And then you got the strength card. And I'm going to say you're going to overcome things. It might be some kind of ending, you know. It's an ending that brings you great sadness. But there's going to be a lot of relief, okay? It's going to feel like a weight off your shoulder. It could be the end of an addiction of some sort. It could be somebody's reaction towards you. Whatever it is, I mean, it might be that they're coming pretty heavy. We got the Empress here. And then we got the Four of Swords. And you deep in thought about what is going on. It's time for you to get up, okay? And get, get your butt in action. Not in a harsh way. All right, not in a passionate way. All right, just get up and start doing what you need to do. It's time for you to take action. There is abundance there. This ending here, this is the Ten of Swords. This is the Empress. You're deep in thought. You're very much in thought here. Now they might have be they might be maybe some whatever took place here, whatever chaos and confusion took place, maybe there's gonna be some kind of peace offering. Um it's something that you would like, and it might come from a water energy, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio, but whatever or it might make you feel emotionally balanced when you once you receive that apology or I I wanna say apology. And you want it to come from the heart and you want it, it's coming from the past. It's going to come. And you're going to have a sense of renewal. You're going to start letting go of things that no longer serve you. You can't fix the world. You can only try to take care of you. I love you guys dearly. You take care of yourselves. And we will chat soon.